Welcome to the Four Listeners Program. Happy holidays, everybody. Thanks for checking us out this week. On the mics, we have the Z-Man. What's up, Z? Melikaliki Maka is the thing to say on a bright Hawaiian Christmas day. That's the island greeting that we send to you from the land where palm trees sway. Here we know that Christmas will be green and bright, the sun to shine by night, day and the other stars at night. Melikalikimaka is Hawaii's way to say Merry Christmas to you. Good job, buddy. Do you know that the Hawaiian alphabet only has 14 letters and five of them are vowels? I did not know that. That's a good job yep. by you. Thank you. On the other mic, we have the illustrious Corey G. Happy holidays, buddy. Merry Christmas, Jew bag. <laughs> Wait, did you call me a Jew bag or him a Jew bag? You. Nice. Um, what up, everybody? I'm Spear. Uh, happy holidays, everybody. Um, this has been this has been a good year for us. I thought we have done a total of 42 shows this year, and uh, something must be done about our year. I suppose I don't really have a something must be done about for this year for this week. It's kind of a we're gonna yeah, you do. You know why? Because we never get suggestions from our four listeners. Oh, yeah, that's a good. That, that's a good way to ingratiate ourselves with the listeners, Corey. Nice. Well, you job. know what? They deserve it. Okay. <laughs> uh, something must be done about our show. We've, we've we've done we've done 42 of these things this year. We've had we have a total of 62 shows. This is our our 62nd show, and uh, and frankly, I didn't think we would get past five. But I'm really happy we're here because we have some. Really awesome stuff that we're, we want to share with you guys this week. Uh, if you haven't listened to the show this year, we're, we're going to give you a little bit of a taste for what we did across the span of the year. So some some of our best of for the year. Uh, we'll start with last week. <laughs> this, last week, Corey, I, I want to be more like Corey when I, when I grow up. Zev was talking about gimme gifts. Those gifts, that, those gifts that are just as much for you as they are for the person you're giving them to. Right, Z? Mm-hmm. And uh, and I and and we kind of went on for a little bit about how I wasn't my my wife would just not be fooled by this kind of this, this kind of bullshit this shit would just not go down with my wife, and and Corey, <laughs> Corey had this to say. I got to buy her a couch for Christmas and her birthday. So <laughs> there's a well, that's a gimme gift. She's like, here, she buy me a gift. It. Oh, it's for you. Yeah, I didn't say I didn't hear them. I knew what they were. You bought her a couch. Yeah. Nothing says romance like she picked it out. Yeah. She wanted it. I hope you got her something else. No, I just said, "Can this couch be your Christmas and birthday present?" She said, "Yeah." <laughs> and birthday. <laughs> Dude, you are a fucking genius. How did you manage to fucking rope a couch into being a Christmas and a birthday present? How- no, don't give me any credit. It's all her. I want to be you when I grow up. Holy shit! <laughs> How the fuck did you pull that off? If I told my wife that that's going to be your Christmas present, she's going to be, what, the couch? <laughs> I'll be like, yeah. No, fucker, she, get your ass out there and go find a fucking piece of jewelry. Yeah, she would say it's your birthday present, too. It's also your bed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah guess where you're going to be sleeping, shithead. <laughs> I actually like sleeping on the couch. It's nice. That's awesome. You like sleeping on the couch, buddy? Yeah. I got to say, that's a hell of a good job by you. The, Thanks. Uh, I, I don't know how you managed to pull it off. You're my hero, man. You're my hero. It's the same way I uh, skipped 5,000 people when I was getting my iPhone 4. Well, how was that? What was the... Just kind of absentmindedly, you know, cut in front of 5,000 people <laughs> by pretending like there's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> that's, a hell, that's a hell of a good job. Thanks. Yeah, just, you know, just casually mention, hey, can this be this and this? And, Sounded so natural. How could she say no? How, <laughs> I, I, my, my wife, my, I, I guess I just can't be that casual. But I, it's, a, it's a hell of a good job. Um, nice. we did a we did a show on we did a show on nursery rhymes, where wherein we were trying to discover the meaning of nursery rhymes because they're fucking terrifying. And and Zeth Zeth just Zeth just cut cut right to the chase. This is one of my top favorite clips of our shows we've done so far. 
I and mean, this one's terrifying too. Fee 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 fi fo fum, right? Fee fi fo fum. I smell the blood of an Englishman. Be he alive or be he dead, I'll grind his bones to make my bread. I mean, oh my God! There's a fucking giant chasing me, and he's gonna fucking grind my bones to make his bread. It's a damn good thing I'm not an Englishman. Yeah. I mean, I think a lot of these things—they were kind of like let's like scare the shit out of our kids. So they don't fuck around. They don't. They don't misbehave. Don't run in the woods alone. Stay away from sick people. Wild in, animals are dangerous. Okay, but what's the moral of the story of Fifi Full Thumb? Don't fuck with giants. Don't fuck <laughs> with giants. Words to live by. <laughs> uh, you you had a you had another golf shot somewhere later during the during the year where we were talking about stupid inventions and we were we were discussing the the Go Girl. You remember this conversation? Which was the Go Girl? The Go Girl was the uh, female urination oh, device. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, and uh, and you revealed you revealed your your research to the world on on well how women pee. Urine urine uh, velocity. Yeah, check this out. Go Girl is easy to use. Just lower your panties and put girl, Go Girl against your body, forming a seal. Aim and well pee. What's about the? Don't you get splashback? I guess not, as long as you're forming a, an appropriate seal. Nah, you're going to get splashback. It's going <laughs> to hit the bottom, it's going to splash up in your junk, and you're going to get all wet, and it's going to be nasty. Like, So here's one of the things I've noticed the other day. Girls piss with such velocity. <laughs> what? Like, it's I didn't, true. Like, when they're pissing, it's like it's like a waterfall. I don't, like, I thought it's I like had a velocity. F- it's a just, fire hose, yeah. Yeah, it's fucking, it's just... <laughs> It's just like it's trying to all come out at once. I didn't realize that it happened like that. There's a lot of force behind that. <laughs> how do how do you, how do you how do you come to know about this? Well, I listen. <laughs> I'm very I'm a very observant person. What do you have like a cup by the door or or something like? What? Huh? Like, are you, do you have a cup up against the door like you're listening? No, they uh, my girl pisses with the door open. That that was uh, that was amazing work by you. I thought. Thank you, I appreciate it. You know, pointing out pointing out the the flaw in the plan there with the go girl. You know what I mean? And the go girl will never work, just because of the the hygiene part of it. Uh, velocity. Little velocity. Uh huh. Hello, good job. All right, so so more Zeth. <laughs> Zeth actually, um, this was uh, what the hell show was this? Hang on, because I don't remember what. Yeah, tell us what clip it is. I can't tell you otherwise. All right, so Zeth Zeth kind of went off. This was from the uh, this was from the snooty hot chick show, where we were talking about. Um, things that people shouldn't wear. I think we were talking about jeggings for a while. Yeah, yeah. We were talking about cougars for a little bit, and we were we were saying that there are things that they should just not wear, and this came up. I you can I, still be a sexy cougar. You just still don't want it to be. You know, you still want to look your best. You just shouldn't be wearing from uh, clothes from uh, Forever Twenty One or whatever that is. We're, Unless it's leopard print, then it's okay. I was about, I was just about to say, oh my God. leopard print, print needs to, to be banned. needs to go here. Thank you for bringing that one up. <laughs> women, women, please, please do not, especially <laughs> if you were a bigger girl, please do not wear the skin of animals. <laughs> leopard, zebra, cheetah. Never okay? Never, never okay. No, never okay, because it just okay. makes me want to hunt you. Is all it, I'm gonna, I'll, I will pull out a double barrel shotgun and put you down. Like I'm like I'm in the Serengeti. I'd have to. No no choice. I think that is the most hideous look you can look you can wear. It's it's got to be worse than like. Oh, I can't even I can't even come up with an analogy of how of what a guy would have to wear to make it look that bad. I'm thinking like the old pit stain wife beater T-shirt with like dip drooling down it is how <laughs> oh, it looks God. on a woman when they wear a leopard print. Amen to that, brother. I do not go to bars to hunt for big game. That's all I'm saying. Unless we're going to play buck hunter. Right. Take that. Take that for what you will, ladies. I'm not hunting for big game. That's all I'm saying. Yeah, because if I'm going to go big game hunting, I just take your mom, two cocks, and she's fully loaded. Nice. 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 Inappropriate. <laughs> Inappropriate. <laughs> uh, that's a good one. It was it was inappropriate. You guys. You guys have pounded on me all year. With mom jokes. You know who else we pounded on? Jesus Christ. Come on, dude. That was seriously. You you totally scripted that in your head knowing that that was the comeback. I absolutely did not. And maybe this is maybe a lot of this is my fault, right? That I don't 
I don't understand what I'm saying and how you guys can twist it into a mom joke. Good thing your mom can see it coming. Good fucking God. <laughs> Until it gets in the eyes. <sighs> it burns. So I did some. I did a bit of an archaeological dig, boys, and I found the uh, the very first mom joke that we recorded on this show. That's very impressive oh, work. Yeah, you're good. I did. I, it was from the bad commercials uh, show very early on this year, where we were going through the whole um, the whole Super Bowl commercial thing and how how terrible everything was. The next clip I'm going to play is notable for two reasons. It's actually notable for three reasons. First is the first appearance of a mom joke. It is, it is probably the only mom joke that I didn't react with a, a ginormous sigh. <laughs> and the 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 third the third reason it's it's worthy. Um, well, it just shows how 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 very little Gantorn pays attention during during our show. So check this out. And can we can we find out what happened to poor Adrian Brody? Did he? Who? Adrian Brody was an Oscar winner for the movie The Piano. Next thing I know, he's scatting in some cellar someplace for Stella or Stella Artois. And and here's the other thing I want I want to try to figure out. Adrian Brody is not exactly one of the better looking dudes that they have in Hollywood, and yet every woman in that commercial was like literally crying for him. And I, I wanted to be like, oh, the Stella Artois commercial. Yeah. But didn't I just say that? Did I did I did I stutter? I didn't hear you say that. I'm gonna I'm gonna play this back for you. I heard it. F- you know what? Fine, fine. You said it, Chris. Thank you. Um, what I'm what I'm trying to figure out is why all these women are just drooling all over his ugly ass. That doesn't make me want to buy a Stella. I'm just I can't drink Stella. Stella goes on the list. You shouldn't have been able to drink Stella in the first place. That's a bitch beer. Stella's not a bitch beer. Oh my god, Stella! It's it's right there on the label, designed for women. It's like secret deodorant. I'll tell you what, asshole. Why, why don't you just go ahead and cram it in the boot? Oh shit! That should be the new the new punishment for anyone who does something that we don't like. Wait, instead you of know what? That's what your mom told me last night. Oh snap! <laughs> <laughs> when exactly did my mom tell you to cram it in the boot? Was it before or after you fell asleep after having three beers? You fucking pussy. <laughs> Doesn't Never matter. Gets old. Yeah, I love that. That's so fun. I love that. <laughs> yeah, that 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 that's the gift that keeps on giving that story. So so here's the here's the other thing um, that I don't think you guys truly appreciate. I don't think you guys truly appreciate how much work I put into this show. This is where we're supposed to be like, oh, Spear, you're great. No, no, I I, I don't need I don't need the accolades. The 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 next the next clip. Uh, is from our Charlie Sheen show. Now, I do I do some homework sometimes. You know what I mean? I do some homework, prepare for the show, get some stuff for us to talk about. In this particular show, I had pulled together a series of Charlie Sheen sound bites. And as we were talking, I started to string them together into a logical and orderly flow of things. And I got called out a little bit for it. He's done more drugs than any human can possibly, you know, can, can possibly handle. I mean, he's made this statement. I don't know, man. I was banging seven gram rocks and finishing them because that's how I roll. I have one speed. I have one gear. Go. I don't even know what seven gram rocks means, but it sounds like a lot. <laughs> I don't is know he, if it's a lot or not. Is he is he trying to get the Guinness Book of World Records for that too? I guess. It's the largest rock smoked. Largest rock smoked. Yeah. <laughs> right. I mean, I, so. I mean, but then he then he turns around and he's like, he's like, I don't need rehab. I I set up the the Silver Valley Lodge in my house, and then and I blinked and I cured my brain. He blinked and he, he <laughs> cured his brain. <laughs> so I had to How long did you spend planning this, Chris? I haven't been planning anything, man. We're talking about it; it's just coming naturally. I, I'm just I'm just winning. I'm just winning, man. You just you have to I have a talk about there. Man. You scripted your first 20 plays I, in this podcast. I did not. Uh, I'm just winning. I'm just winning. You're like goddamn Andy Reid over there. <laughs> I'm fucking not Andy Reid, dude. <laughs> yeah, you are. You I, script your shit. I did not script any of that. That was natural flow. That's just how fucking good I am at this. I don't believe it. Now, seriously, dude. I didn't script any of that bullshit. All right. If you say so. I do say so. Well, that's what I said. If you say so. All right. That's what I say. Well, good. Say it. 
I said it. All right then. All right then. <laughs> um, you know, one of the things we did we did a, a pretty good job of this year, and we've had some awesome, awesome help with the show, um, with a bunch of guests who, you know, filling in for one of us one, one way or another, have, or even kind of being on the show with us, have really done an awesome job with kind of contributing to the show and helping us out. One one week we had we had Zeth Zeth's brother Adam on the show helping us out with our show on stupid sizes and this is where Ganshorn was trying to figure out well he's trying to do some math I mean what's the the standard maybe not phrase or expression but you used to go out and you get a half gallon of ice cream right well you can't buy that anymore because when I when I was keeping track it first started going down to one and a half quarts so there's was it two quarts in a gallon uh, well, I, I don't know. Well, that's yours. This is a candidate. Eh? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm not doing the math. <laughs> <laughs> what? That doesn't make any sense. I don't well, know. Is that the metric system? I have no idea. No. <laughs> Google. Four well, U.S. My quarts. Abacus. Yeah, okay. So half gallon, <laughs> two quarts. <laughs> abacus. <laughs> oh, I love it. Uh, Adam... It did make me laugh when I was listening to it, you know, doing my homework earlier. Oh, you were actually doing homework this time. Only for like an hour. That's a good job. Because I felt bad. I didn't yeah, feel bad. I listened, I listened to two episodes, I think. <laughs> I completely <laughs> discovered the one that you totally forgot and left out, <laughs> that's by a, the way. Yeah, that's a good job. Because I uh, I think I listened to 41. <laughs> and the one show that you listened to was the one I didn't listen to. <laughs> you listened to 41 episodes. I, I did a lot of driving over the course of the last few days, back and uh, forth from New York fuck, City, dude. so I was just listening to shows all Wait. up and down the New Jersey Turnpike. Why did you go back and forth to New York? Uh, I, I went to a premiere party for a TV show, which we'll talk about in a little bit. Oh, yeah. uh, and then I went back up to New York later for a uh, for a party. So I went. there was a little bit of back and forth. So I spent, I can't tell you how many hours in the car, Listening to us and then taking, you know, taking notes. Adam had another. Adam. Adam actually joined us a few times. I think he was like a. a I think he was on the show like three or four times. And he was. He's our Steve Martin. Yep. He he sat in. He sat in for for Zeth again when we started talking about zombies and had we were we what we were talking about again. So we were talking about the spread of the disease and how z- the zombie apocalypse would kind of spread across. Yeah. And. uh and he had he had this he had this uh, to say about how the virus would spread. Don't you think that we would take certain steps to kind of contain whatever guy or, or group around him? It never works, dude. Let's say you're at the King of Prussia Mall and some dude comes up and bites you. But like, how are you going to contain fuck? that? Yeah, you'll be like, "What the fuck?" And then you'll start biting people, but, and well, it's no, going to be too late. That's the problem. Well, it depends it how long it takes. You know, if you're incubating, you'd be like, what the fuck? A dude just bit me. And then you go home and you're like having dinner with the wife and the kid. And, yeah, maybe you get you lucky. Know, like, you start banging yeah. your wife and then you, you know, you infect her. You're like, yeah, Shelly, what's up? <laughs> like, you know. <laughs> and then, like, the next morning, you know, you get up, you take your leap, and you're like, it just hits you. And then you go in and you bite your wife. And then she's like, what the fuck? Why did he bite me? That was last night. And then, oh, you know, she shit. goes off to work. <laughs> And then he, you he know, knows all just, about you. It just spreads. That's how it spreads. That's what. That's how these things get out of control. I don't get it. Who showed you my tapes? <laughs> it's on the internet, dude. God damn it! All over. <laughs> what do you think I use every night? All right. That's disgusting, by the way. What is that? You that you would consider using any kind of sex tape of mine to pleasure yourself? Agreed. Oh. That's disgusting, dude. What's up, Shelley? <laughs> That's so wrong It's wrong on every conceivable level Uh, If it's so wrong, why are you recording it though? Why am I recording what? The whole whole business between my wife and I? Yeah Well, if I were Which I've never done Right? If I I were I know that I agree with the the right there But yeah, okay if, 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 If I had recorded I would not put it up on the internet but the fact that you would even consider using it, that's, that's fucked up, dude. Well, what if I found it by accident? Like, I didn't know it was you. Like, let's say you like inadvertently it was like, shared it on LimeWire or something. And it was just, like, ass shots and shit. There's yeah. no faces. 
and then when everybody's finished, the camera pulls back and it's your face. And then what happens to you at that point? Well, I probably feel even worse than normally. But there would be even normally more guilt? Do. Yeah, there'd be more guilt and, you know, disgust at what I just did. But then I'd probably, I'd probably watch it again later. I certainly hope there would be. Well, I wouldn't be looking at you if it makes you feel any better. Oh, okay. It does. A little bit. It really does. Um, okay. I don't, I don't even know what to, I don't even know how to move on from this. <laughs> it's one of those like impossible segues. Uh, so we had, uh, we had a, a group of people, including Adam, that came in for our, our talent show show, wherein we, we kind of surprised Zeth a little bit with the, with the show where we kind of critiqued all of the singing that he does at the beginning of every show. This one, this one, this one kind of cracked me up because we, we had Adam come in as our, our, our Simon Cowell. We had my wife Shelly come in as, as our Paula, and we had our boy Q. We had our boy Q come in as our Randy Jackson. <laughs> Q, God love him, is a. Uh, well, how would you describe him, Z? Uh, black. Well, I, yes, but I, I mean, he's a rather rotund. <laughs> Oh, a large black man. He's a he's a rotund black. He kind of he's got the whole Randy Jackson esque build, if you will. I give him a little more CeeLo green. A little C, a little bit more CeeLo. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, I'm just saying. I, it's it's fair. It's fair. Um, so we had we had this whole thing. So we we had we, we had the surprise of the judges coming in, and then we had uh, c- kind of Shelley and Q kind of arguing over who was going to be the Paula. All right, so so I'm at the point I'm at the point with this talent show nonsense that if you can't beat them, join them. What? Yep. So we're gonna hold we're gonna hold ourselves a little talent show right now, and I'm gonna bring in my panel of judges. Oh shit! Nice, dude. Q and my brother. Yep. <laughs> oh, and Shelly. Hi, Shelly. Yeah, uh, how you doing? <laughs> I like this. <laughs> okay, so I got my Randy, I got my Paula, oh yeah, and I got I got my Simon Cowell. <laughs> <laughs> All well, right, because because Q's black. Yeah. yeah. I studied J Lo clips for this show. You said you needed J Lo or Paula, and all of a sudden, make the black guy Randy Jackson. <laughs> Would you want to make me Randy Jackson? <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, that was some funny shit. <laughs> So we we had a bit of a problem with cues, because um, I I know two cues. There is the the cue from the last clip, which is our rather uh, our joculent rotund friend. Uh, hey man, he's he's working on it. Right, and I have um, another buddy named Q. Uh, his his name is well his name is Brian Quinn. He's from he came and he helped he 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 does the Tell Him Steve Dave podcast, and he came and he guested on our show uh, to talk about the end of the world. And in this particular clip, we were talking a little bit about Zeth and his uh, online dating, uh, where, <laughs> where you were you were you know you were kind of talking about your the pictures that people would send you, mm-hmm. and you got one picture from uh, from a particular woman who had a distinguishing feature. Mm-hmm. Dude, I just got this message. Hold on, I got to post this one from this chick. Can you guys see this? Oh, the mole! The mole pisses me off. <laughs> mole, de mole, de mole, mole. <laughs> mole, 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 mole. No, no good with the mole. <laughs> no mole. No mole. Oh Jesus! No, no. Are you kidding me? That mole is fucking genius. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are fucking crazy. Do you realize every time she looks in that mirror, all she sees is a mole. As well as every time you look at her, that's all you see? It, uh, no, what I see is is lower expectation and lower self-confidence and the ability to fuck her. What she sees is a mole. <laughs> right, so because she has a lower self-image, that means that you can't... Oh, that means I'm that she's worked, she works harder, right? She's lucky to get me with that fucking mole. It doesn't matter how sick her body is. She could have the sickest ass in the world. All she sees is that mole. See, this is this is why this is why I love you, dude. Because I look at that mole and get turned off. You look at that mole and see opportunity. I just I just don't think on that level. There's gold in them, there moles. I just <laughs> see that just reinforces why he has a TV show. Yeah, that gets funny. Yeah. So uh, Brian Quinn from the Tell Him Steve Dave podcast is on Impractical Jokers on Thursday nights on True TV, uh, 10, 10 o'clock. 
definitely check them out. Funny, funny show. Um, we've had some we've had some pretty good guests. Uh, we've had some pretty good guests, and we've been yeah you know, we've been fortunate in that they've given us good stuff. The, we've also gotten some pretty terrifying stuff. I thought um, we did a show on diets, and we had yeah your cousin. Yeah, oh, cuz. Yeah, we had cuz come in, and and she's she's in the the medical profession. I guess she's a doctor. She is a uh, yeah. She's doing a fellowship up in Boston. Yeah, and she uh, regaled us. We were talking about different diets and how certain diets were harmful, and she w- she gave us this uh, this bit of experience based on on this very harmful diet. Well, let's go. Let's go into the fun ones too. Like let's let's introduce parasites to our body and, and talk about the tapeworm diet. Let us let us talk about the tapeworm diet. I think that one sounds like a great idea. So, let's ingest this parasite that's going to grow to seven feet, you know, seven feet long, and it's just going to keep eating and digesting the food for you. My question is, have either of you ever seen a tapeworm come out of the body? Because no. that's not as nice. Apparently, apparently, you know, you put it in, you put the larvae or, or whatever in one end, and it comes out the other. Yeah, it comes out whichever end it chooses, and it's not pleasant. Oh, it, it can. I've shoot, been it, working in the ER when tapeworms decide to come out. Oh, wait a minute! You mean it could choose to come? It, it could choose which direction it wants to go, north or south. North or south? Oh. I've seen both, and neither is pleasant. Oh. I had always assumed that it was only, like, exit only, right? It's one, no, one way. No, it chooses. <sighs> Guess what will give you nightmares for life? Tapeworm out the nose. I wonder what tapeworms smell like. <laughs> That's disgusting. Uh, what do they taste like? Uh, I, I don't know. I... Uh, I don't want to know. I, I I did that. That vision actually haunted me a little bit because I had to edit this fucking show and I had to listen to that quite a few times. That fucked me up. Uh, yeah. Have you Googled for images of that? No, for the love of God, no, no. How about Tub Girl? I did actually. Uh, I yeah. did. You did. Yeah, I you did. said you wouldn't. I did, and let me tell you, I was fucked up. Okay. So I don't even know how she bent herself like that, frankly. Yeah. That was fucked up. So, uh, word to the wise out there, folks. Tub Girl. Awesome. Terrible. <laughs> um, so here's a case where the guest wasn't very good to us, but then we have we have plenty of plenty of examples where we're not very nice to the guests. And in this particular clip, we had pulled in some... Uh, we pulled in. So we had one. Well, we had a guest who was helping us with uh, the man sandal show. We were talking about. Uh, we were talking about manscaping, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And uh, this was this was Katie, right? This is Katie. Yep, Katie. Right. So Katie. Katie apparently had two roommates who she decided to kind of drag into the conversation, and we were talking here about manscaping and the different um, lengths to which. Um, you can maintain your 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 hair down there, and uh, well, we we weren't exactly. I suppose we weren't exactly forthcoming with them about the fact that they were going to. Well, well, you just listen to the clip. So so you guys are into the whole military style little soldier going off to war. <laughs> no 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 <laughs> no. You need a little grass to stand on. <laughs> if there's grass on the field, play ball. Is that what you're saying? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? If there's grass on the field, play ball. Yeah, there you but go. Not, not, we're not looking to go play in the field, you know? We don't want to play out in the wilderness and, like, the weeds and shit. So you just want it in your mouth is what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> well, that, that's what I heard, so I'm, I'm don't. <laughs> I feel like I'm secretly on a radio show. You are secretly on a radio show. I really wish the webcam was working. <laughs> the hard we part. have we have the internet. What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, Gantor, we had to get you to be nicer to the guests, dude. Why? I didn't think that was mean. You didn't think that was mean? No. You were you were basically calling them whores. 
No, I didn't. Yeah, I just didn't choose, chose to interpret what they were saying in a way that excited me. I see. <laughs> okay. What, don't you do that? I Occasionally. You yeah. don't live in daydream world? <laughs> occasionally. Fantasy world? Come I, on, you know what I'm... Oh, how it is. Uh, occasionally. Well, I gotta say, there have been times where... Very nice. There have been times where I haven't been treated particularly well by our guests. Um, this next clip was from the um, the beer episode that we did. And this was your girlfriend there, Z. Yep. She wasn't wasn't very nice to me. She's nice to me. So let, let, me, let me set this clip up a little bit. Um, we were talking here about um, all the different kinds of beers that one can get into and about the beer renaissance that, that we were embarking on, both in Boston and in the Philadelphia area. And, and I, was just, I was just sticking up for the little people who just wanted to have a beer and get drunk. And, well, this happened. I, I'm sorry. I'm going to play devil's advocate here for a little bit. No, you're not. I, I'm going to have to. Shut okay? your mouth. I'm going to have to. I'm, I'm Shut gonna... your whore mouth. Wow. <laughs> whore mouth. <laughs> wow. Uh, this you. is this is coming from the woman who probably just sucks Seth's dick. Oh. It was delicious. Okay. Oh, did you? <laughs> and you're calling my mouth a whore mouth. All right. Let's just move on. Um, let's just move on because you know it's late and I'm bitter and I don't want to get into it. So, you, just got, you just got fucked up the ass by a woman, dude. <laughs> Whatever. I'm not, I'm not the one who's guzzling I'm cum, so it's all good. I'm an equal opportunity employer. I would strap one on for you. No worries. Oh, I appreciate the offer. Thank you, sweetheart. Um, Anytime. Wait, so, are you a tranny by any reason? Am I a tranny? <laughs> no. If she was a tranny, then she wouldn't need to strap one on. Well, no, I'm just saying. Like, she's got <laughs> I can like, yeah, like, just get you. She's got the man attitude kind of, you know? What the, just throw me for a loop. What just happened to the show? It just went off the reservation. <laughs> so that clip's awesome for a couple of reasons. The first is it shows how how quickly this show goes off the rails. Yeah, what's what's whose reservation are we on that we keep falling off of? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> are, we, are we like in an Indian casino or something? Yeah, I guess so. I guess. I mean, th- this show this show easily goes off the off the reservation just at, at a moment's notice. Uh, but I am, I am, however, very happy to hear that you are, in fact, delicious. I am delicious. <laughs> that kind of disgusts me. <laughs> Wait, how do you know that? I've tasted it. You never tasted it? What? Whoa. T- Wait, tasted what? Tasted what exactly? <laughs> you never tasted it? <laughs> no. You're lying. No, I, I swear any, to God. I don't believe any of you. Cantor, have you ever tasted I'm it? I'm speechless. I can't. <laughs> I don't know that that's ever happened before. You guys are full of shit. <laughs> no, we're not. That's like saying you don't look at your toilet paper after you wipe your ass. I'm not going to admit it on the internet. I, Jeez. I'm in. I'm in the. I'm in the position where I don't have to admit anything. I've never done it. <laughs> I don't believe you. All right, why don't we just why don't we just move on? All right, whatever. Let's move on. Um, I am I am going to f- fulfill a promise to you right now, Z. Okay. Uh, I'm going to play a a, a, a cut. Um, I don't even remember what show this was from, frankly, but this was you were you were adamant about getting this back in somehow after I made the cut from the show. And yep, I'm, I know which one it is. I'm making good on it. You remember what we were talking about here? Uh, we were talking about um, Black Friday. That's right, and 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 Zeth had a Zeth had a, a a neat little thing all set up, and here it is. Now hold on, I, I got I got actually have to I gotta give credit where credit's due on this one because I stole it. Stole it from? I stole it from Family Guy. There you go. Stewie Stewie set it up with uh, with Brian, and uh, I thought it was just too perfect not to uh, borrow. <laughs> here we go. Um, the other thing we'll talk about is you hear that uh, another person got killed in the Black Friday madness. <sighs> Unbelievable! But this was where this was. The, um, was this the Walmart I, thing? Yeah, I don't remember where it was. Yeah, it was. Uh, was that your mom there, man? Was she? Uh, was she out shopping? No, no, no. Leave my mom out of this. No. Does she? Uh, does she have an alibi for for that day? I, I think it looked like her in the in the video. I, you don't even know what my mom looks like. I seen the picture. Well, get the fuck out of here. Does Does she have an alibi? 
I honestly am not aware of what my mother's whereabouts were on Black Friday. I'm sorry. I can't. I can neither confirm nor deny. So, so you're saying she has no alibi? Uh, uh, <laughs> just move along, okay? <laughs> I, I have no idea. No, she has no alibi. U G L Y. Your mama's got no alibi. Oh. She's ugly. She's ugly. That was glorious <laughs> seeing Zeth set it up now that I know what was, was going to happen. It's beautiful. <laughs> There was no way to get out of the way of that. I even I saw that coming and I couldn't stop it. You know what I mean? It was just like I, I'm gonna have to let him just have it. <laughs> you know? There was no getting out of that one. But whatever whatever show that was in, it was running long and I cut it for time. But you know what, there's Z? I got it back for you, buddy. I appreciate it. It's right appreciate. back it's right back there on the record. Unfortunately, I couldn't think of the second verse of that song quick enough to get it in there. <laughs> uh, so, so here we are. Um, I'm on my last clip, and I and I think this was our our crowning moment. And and our crowning moment in the sixty in the, in the fifty some odd shows that we've done, or the sixty two some odd shows that we've done, this crowning moment belongs to Gantorn. Um, this is still this is still my favorite. There's gonna I'm going to make a T-shirt for this one. I have it already made. I just got to print up a couple copies, but uh. Uh, yeah, this one's great. Yeah, this is this is this is Gantorn's crowning achievement, and it's 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 beautiful for a number of reasons. And I think we can talk a little bit about it after the clip. But let, let's set the scene up here a little bit. We were talking about we were doing a show on profanity, and what we did was is we managed to get this this guest on the show, uh, Kath, who was kind of anti-profanity, and we duped her into doing the show. Right, Z. Something like that. Yeah, I, I think you told her that we were doing a show that something must be done about profanity, and we we wanted to. We, you 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 approached her with what something you know we would we would cut back on profanity. I'm not sure exactly what my exact words were for this were for this one. But somehow somehow you got her on the show, and we 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 bait and switched her where we did. It wasn't about doing less profanity; it was about having more profanity. Yeah, and we spent the large majority of the show. Trying to get her to curse, trying to get her to use profanity in some meaningful way, and I think at one point we were asking her, you know, what? Here's here's a here's a woman who's dropping her vagina on your head. <laughs> what would you say to her? And and she's like, she said something along the lines of, "Would you please get your bits out of my face or something like that?" And this was this was something that you know Gantorn's just now lying in wait for for this whole for this whole time. And this built, and this built, and this built, and we finally got to, like, after three rounds of this, we finally got to, we finally got to this clip. I still honestly don't think I used that, a word that has derogatory connotations about She's vagina. stabbing you in the eyes! <laughs> she has, she has a pen, and she's bitch. now stabbing you in the eyes. There, there, you are in intense pain, and you've never been madder in your life. What would you say to this woman? I'd call her a bitch, essentially. Wow. You really can't piss off the Brit. Oh my god. <laughs> Not true. I, I get this up, but I would swear I would say fuck, but I don't think I would ever use the c word. Mm. We just what about don't. when you talk dirty to your boyfriend? What about what? Put your <laughs> put your bits in my bits. <laughs> <laughs> Give me your big bits. <laughs> Gantworth's Gantworth's gonna keep doing this until you tell him appropriately to stop. Well, I'm supposed to just tell him, go fuck your mom. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I love that clip. Yeah, that's one of the best clips, man. That's that is definitely still our number one clip. Yeah, I love that clip. And what, what was the guys. what was the interesting uh, the interesting end the the epilogue to that? Oh yeah, so so uh, Cass boyfriend is sitting in the room while this is happening and he's got a pillow over his face and he just he's laughing his ass off because he's listening to this while it's happening and uh, a couple couple weeks later it's probably about a month later I, uh, I meet up with him because he doesn't live in the area and I, I saw him at a party and uh, he's like dude that fucking Corey dude's in my mind he's just fucking with my head all the time anytime all I, I, it's like I can't get that out of my mind. All I can see is, oh, they put your bits in my bits. 
Uh, I don't think they've had sex since. That is a great job by you, Ganshorn. Yeah, I'm pretty proud of that. I mean, I feel bad, but I'm 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 more proud. Changing lives with the four listeners program. That's what we're all about here. <laughs> For good or worse. <laughs> <laughs> but so so what did we learn? What did we learn about our show? We do a lot of clip shows. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is what this is our our second it's our second clip it's our show. second clip show, notwithstanding the mom joke show that we did earlier in the summer, because well, you guys weren't around, and I felt like putting a show together. What else did we learn about our show? We're really running out of ideas. I mean, we're we have nothing. We have a couple of things on the list to uh, to, to to do, but it's it's really struggling. Yeah, and where where are all of you people out there? Please give us some ideas. We like to bitch about things. We would love for you to help us bitch about things. So if you have something to bitch about and you'd like to share it, why don't you go ahead and post it on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash four listeners or four listeners dot com. Either one will get you right to where right to where you need to be. Um, we're also on iTunes. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell your neighbors. If you're listening to this show for the first time, and you liked what you heard, go back and subscribe and get all of our, our back stuff. I, I promise you it will it will be it will be funny, funny stuff. Um, do it. Take take us along for the holidays on those long road trips. Yes. Uh, I had a I had a good time this year, guys. How many episodes have we done total now? Sixty two. This is our sixty second episode. Sixty wow. second episode. I'm That's surprised we lasted this long. Uh, as as am I. As am I. Well, I'm surprised you've lasted this long having to edit everything. Hey, man, I'll keep I'll keep doing this show for as long as you guys want to keep doing it. I have a great so, time with it. So you you got to guess we do what do we record for like an hour each day at least, uh, maybe sometimes upward of an hour and a half. Yeah. So you've listened to us talk for sixty two plus hours. Yeah, somewhere somewhere in the neighborhood of ninety hours I have listened. Wow, yeah. that's fucking crazy. <laughs> Yeah, ninety. Dude, you probably think about us when you're sleeping. I hear your, I hear your voices in my in my head. As after I'm done editing, I hear the voices in my head. I do. Yes. Has Has Shelly ever told you to put your bits in her bits? <laughs> no, but maybe tonight. Maybe if I'm lucky. That's Can how babies are it? born. <laughs> yeah, that's how babies are born. Yes, I will record it and I will post it for you, Corey. So you have something there to help you along with your with your guilt. Thank you. Uh, so we thank all of you for listening to us this year. Uh, we've had a great year, and we appreciate you checking us out. And we hope that you will check us out again next year. Thanks a bunch, everybody. To say Merry Christmas, a very Merry Christmas, a very very Merry Merry Christmas to you.